Papa Blast. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Hi there, horsey. Blaster, maybe you could put me somewhere a little easier to get get out of instead of this cart filled with hay. Well, we made it to Miss Reagan's Wonder Ranch. That's the important thing. Now we just have to find Miss Reagan. Hi, Kyle. Miss Reagan, hi. What? I was, yeah, I made a cart filled with hay and this horse. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Kyle, I need some help giving a horse a bath. Will you come with me? Absolutely, we can help. All right, let's All right. go. Here we go. I can't wait to give this horse a bath. Let's go. Oh, I see a dirty, dirty horse. <laughs> now, last time I was here, Miss Reagan, I wore a hat and a handkerchief. Do I need that to bathe the horse? Yes, you definitely need a hat. All right, well, I don't have a hat or a handkerchief, mm -hmm. but I know that the blaster can help. One second. All right, <laughs> now I look like I'm ready to bathe a horse. Okay, what's next? So the first thing we need to do is fill up this bucket with soapy water. Okay, we can do that. After we finish bathing the horse, we're gonna use this soapy water to make bubbles for the rest of the horses here at Miss Reagan's Wonder Ranch. That's perfect, Kyle. Okay, we got our bucket filled with soapy water. Now what do we need? The next thing we need are sponges. Hmm, sponges. Okay, we'll let the blaster handle this. Wow, these are a lot of sponges. We have a green star. We have a purple turtle. We have a firefly, a dragonfly, a red one, a dragonfly, I think, Miss Reagan. <laughs> and a small turtle hand. I don't think those are gonna be big enough to clean this big horse. We need horse-sized sponges. Come on, Blaster, give us bigger sponges. There's some horse-sized sponges. These are perfect. Oh. These are exactly what we need to get Toro nice and clean. Toro's gonna love this. Before we use the sponges, we have to get Toro all wet. All right, let's hose him down with the hose. We need your help at home. Let's count down and then Miss Reagan will get Toro all nice and wet. Three, two, one. So when I start hosing off Toro, I always make sure to start on his legs and on his chest so that he can feel whether the water is really hot or really cold. And just like when you take a shower or a bubble bath, you have to make sure to get your whole body wet, including his mane. Horses' manes keep their necks warm and protected. Did you know the mane usually falls to the right side of a horse's neck? It's okay that he's wiggling while I hose him off. So when you hose off Toro on the other side, make sure that you start with his legs and then you can work your way up his whole body. Now I save a horse's head to last because sometimes it can make them feel a little scared or nervous about having water get into their eyes. Have you guys ever felt that way? I'll hose down his other side, Miss Reagan. All right, Toro, I'm gonna start on your front here. There you go. I already see all the dirt coming off. You can imagine how much dirt and sand and mud gets into their fur. Horses typically sweat the most where Kyle is spraying right now, on their neck and chest. I'm gonna go under you here. There we go. Ooh, look at all the dirt come off.
Toro really needed a bath. Look at all of the mud coming off. What do we think? Did we get Toro wet enough? I think we're ready for the bubble bath now. Are you ready for the bubbles, Kyle? Oh yeah, this part looks the most fun. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna start on his legs just like I did and let the bubbles go all the way down. Ooh. Does that feel good, Toro? Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> and I used the sponge just like I used the curry comb. Circle motions will get all the mud off of his fur that the hose didn't get off. Now, Kyle, I don't give my horse a bath every time I ride him. I don't even give him a bath every time he gets dirty. I give him a bath when it's a special occasion, like when he's going to a horse show or after he gets something like a haircut. Mm. Well, not me, Miss Reagan. I take a bath every day, at least once. <laughs> Kyle, how often do you give your dog Callie a bath? Well, I usually give my dog Callie a bath once a month or anytime she gets really dirty. <laughs> oh. Wow, he's not brown anymore. I think we got Toro really soapy on this side. <laughs> I'll start working on the other side. While Kyle finishes up scrubbing off Toro's body, I'm gonna start washing his tail. Now I remember that the tail is in the horse's surprise zone, so he can't see me back here. So I'm gonna tap him and tell him, hey Toro, I'm right behind you, bud. And I know that he's looking at me because his ear is pointed back to me and he lifted his head so I can see his eye. Now I'm gonna start the hose at the base of his tail to get it nice and wet and then all the way up to the dock of his tail. And horses have a lot of hair, so I have to make sure to really soak it. Like when you're in the shower and you're washing your hair, you wanna make sure that all of it is really wet. Now I'm gonna use my special horse shampoo and get a really big amount because he has a really big tail. I'll rub my hands together to get it bubbly and then I'll start by massaging it into the top of his tail, making sure that it gets through all of these layers. When you wash your hair at home, do you ever give yourself a nice head scratch while you're doing shampooing? That's exactly what horses like too. Kyle, do you wanna try putting shampoo in his mane? Yes. Miss Reagan, look at how covered in <laughs> fur these sponges are. Oh you see all of Toro's hair, all the white hair on them? That's all that came off, and there's even more. This is just what's on the sponge. <laughs> all right, you need some help with his tail? I need some help with his mane. His mane? So, all right. first, I want you to hose his mane off and get it really, really wet. Is that good? Yeah, nice work, Kyle. Thanks. It feels good. Now I'll get you the special horse shampoo. I make sure to use a special shampoo that's safe for animals. And you're gonna wash his mane just like you wash your own hair at home. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoop. <gasps> Whoa, look how bubbly it got or soapy. 
I'm gonna make your mane look so nice, Toro. Horses manes are just like our own hair. They can feel it when we pull, brush, and braid it. But unlike our hair, their manes will stop growing at a certain point. Ours will just keep going and growing. I'll also give them a little horse massage. Oh yeah, very good. Now he's got a massage and a shampoo. I think he likes it. All right, I think we're good. We are. So now that our horse is covered in shampoo from head to toe, what comes next? I know, rinse. I'm gonna start rinsing him off at the top of his neck, keeping the water really soft so that he doesn't get nervous about me getting water in his ears. That wouldn't feel good. And I rinse out my horse's mane just like I rinse out my own hair when I'm taking a shower or a bath. I use my fingers to scratch, 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 and scrub, 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 while the water gets all the bubbles and soap out. Look at all that soap that's coming down, Kyle. Wow. It's important that we rinse all the soap off of our horses' bodies or else they can get very itchy. So as I rinse off the soap, look at all the dirt that's coming off. I'm almost done, Kyle. Will you finish while I get some towels? Sure, I'll finish rinsing Mr. Toro. It takes a long time to clean a horse, doesn't it? We had to get them wet. Then we had to scrub them with the sponges. Then we had to wash the mane and the tail. And then we had to rinse them again. This side looks pretty good. Let's do the other side. I see more soap coming down. We're back in the surprise zone. Notice how Kyle is standing to the side of Toro's hindquarters so that Toro can see him. Because sometimes if horses can't see, they will kick out in surprise. Did you know that horses can only kick straight back and not sideways? So Kyle is extra safe. And I'm also gonna go rinse Toro's belly. Yay! 
I'm going down here, Toro. Oh, horse belly. Surprise zone. Horses can't see underneath their bellies. Do you see how Toro is wiggling in response to the hose? This is because horses are also super sensitive. Did you know that horses can feel even the smallest fly land anywhere on their bodies? Miss Reagan, I finished rinsing Toro. Thanks, Kyle. Oh, you're welcome. Now, after we shower or bath, we usually use a towel, right? Yep, that's right. So um, apparently we're gonna do that for Toro? Not yet. Oh, okay. Before we use a towel, we use what's called a sweat scraper. A sweat scraper? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do me a favor, feel in your back pocket. Oh, is this a sweat scraper? Uh-huh. Well, mine looks so much different than yours. I know, there's a couple of different kinds. And how you use the scraper is to scrape the water off of your horse. Got it. So just like with the brush, you scrape it in the direction of the fur to start. Oh, look at all the water come off. You try it with yours. Look at all the water! <laughs> it's working! So we're gonna use this all over Toro to get the water off, and then we'll use the towels. All right, here we go. Fun fact, when it gets really hot out, Kyle, mm -hmm. after I sweat scrape this way, then I'll take the scraper and I'll scrape in the opposite direction of the fur because then it helps the horse's fur stand up and let cool oh, air touch yeah. their skin. And as you can see, Toro's really furry. So we wanna make sure that we keep his coat standing up so that the sunshine can get through and dry all of his hair. All right, I think I did it. Now that we're done scraping, we can wipe off any of the extra water that's left on Toro. All right, let's get to towel drying. I'll start with using the towel just like the curry comb. And look at how much hair is coming off, Kyle. Oh my God. <laughs> the first place I'm gonna towel is at the base of his feet because this is where the water builds up and I want to make sure that I wipe it off so that whenever he goes back to his stall, it's nice and dry so that things like dirt don't get stuck and don't turn into something like fungus. That would be icky. Ew. Some moisture is good for a horse's hooves, but we don't want them to be wet for too long. With too much water, their hooves can get soft or infected. Same with their legs. We want to keep them clean and dry to make sure our horses stay as healthy as possible. Do you want to try his other foot, Kyle? Oh, he already lifted it for me. Oh, thanks, Toro. He is a helpful horse. <laughs> All right. I think I got a lot of the water out of here, Miss Reagan. He should be good to go. That's awesome, Kyle. I'll go ahead and do his back legs, and then we'll be good to go. Do you see how Toro keeps picking up his legs while we dry him off? Maybe it's because he's thinking about hoof picking. When Toro feels Kyle or I around his legs, he thinks we want him to pick up his foot to be cleaned. What a smart and helpful horse. Bath time is one of Toro's favorite things, and he's so happy you joined us today to help him get one. Well, Miss Reagan, I think we got him pretty dried off. He's looking good to me, Kyle. And he smells really good, too. I'm gonna take him home now so that he can have a nice, relaxing evening and get some dinner. All right, bye, Toro. Say bye to Toro. Bye. Wow, that was so fun to give a real horse a bubble bath. 
But it's not just work here at Miss Reagan's Wonder Ranch. In fact, it's really important to have a lot of fun. And so now we're going to show some horses some bubbles. And these horses have never seen bubbles before. So we get to show them bubbles for the very first time. So while Toro goes home, I'm gonna go make the bubbles and I'll meet you at our very first horse. This is Izzy and Izzy has never seen bubbles before. So let's see what he thinks. Okay. I don't know how good I am at this, but I'll try. Here you go, Izzy. Whoa, I see the bubble. Oh, I don't think Izzy liked the bubble very much. Maybe if I make a smaller one. What about that one, Izzy? Oh, what about this one? Ooh, ooh, a little baby one. And that one. Some little ones. His ears and eyes are telling me that he's curious. And he walked a little bit closer. <laughs> what are those? Because they're disappearing. What are those, Izzy? This is Patty. And let's see what Patty thinks about bubbles. I don't think Patty cares about these bubbles too much. Maybe these next two horses will. These are our friends Gentry and Poncho. Gentry and Poncho are miniature horses. So that means that no, they're not baby horses. They're full grown mini horses. How cool. Let's see what the mini horses do when we show them bubbles. Poncho doesn't seem to mind. Gentry is like, what is going on over there? We have one horse that likes it and the other horse who isn't too sure. Oops. This is our friend Chevelle, and this is her neighbor, and we're gonna see how they feel about bubbles. Ooh! Chevelle, I remember you. All right, here we go. Whoa! They're not sure about bubbles. They oh, and might. they're coming back. So when horses feel unsure or afraid about something, they can either freeze in place, run away, flight, or they can kick or stomp their feet, which is fight. Whoa! Wow. Well, I don't think they like the bubbles, but I do! 
This is a very special horse with very special hair. He's a Frisian, which means that he has a longer mane, tail, and feathers around his feet that other horses don't have. Let's see how you feel about bubbles, sir. Let's see how the Frisians feel about the bubbles. Here it goes. What do you think? That's a scary bubble, but a beautiful bubble. I'll make some smaller ones and see if they like that more. That was a Frisian sized bubble. A little unsure. This was so much fun to meet all of these new horses and giving Toro a really big bubble bath. Thanks for inviting us to your Wonder Ranch, Miss Reagan. You are so welcome, Kyle, and it was so fun to see you again. Yes, thank you for coming too. You were such a big help. I hope that you and me can come join Miss Reagan at her Wonder Ranch again very soon. I hope you had fun and we hope you had a ba ba, -ba blast. Bye-bye. Yes. <laughs>